Kelly Berglund, and you're watching Shine On Media. I'm from here, Casey, undercover. <laughs> Why did you want to come support the show tonight? Um, Zendaya's because it's awesome, and I'm interrupting your interview because you interrupted mine. And, and because of Paris. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> um, I'm here because Zendaya's an awesome girl. She's really sweet. We film on the same lot, so I like see her passing by every once in a while. Um, but I've heard the show is awesome, and I wanted to see the premiere. And I have a lot of friends here, too, so it should be really exciting. How would you rate your own spy skills? Are you good at being sneaky? Yes. I'm, I would say I'm like an 8 or a 9. Maybe playing a bionic superhero like has helped a little bit, contributes to it, but um, I don't know, I feel like I can be super sneaky. Just sometimes, sometimes. I'm just gonna leave it at that. People that like sneaks around on like Instagram and Twitter and just stalks everyone. Oh yeah, I will admit to that. I am a stalker on social media. Not in like a weird way, just like, if I'm meeting you for the first time, you want to know Chances are, I've probably met you through your Instagram like a hundred times. Is that weird? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. I just like, I just start to explore and I'm like, oh, this person was tagged in this. I'm going to click on their photo and then there's this person and it just, it's one long chain. So, and then I end up on like, I don't even know. You end up just spending hours. It's like when you end up on the weird side of YouTube. It's like I end up on the weird side of Instagram. <laughs> Dangerous. So I know Disney Channel does crossovers, but we haven't had too many Disney XD crossovers. So when are you and, well, she ran away, but Paris yeah. gonna work together. Um, it seems like that would just I be may, fun. Mm, I may, okay, you may have to cut this part out, but um, we are actually doing a crossover. We're doing a Mighty Med and Lab Rats crossover, and we're filming it next week. But don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm really telling everybody. I really hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, because I don't even completely know what the story's about yet, so at least I can keep that under wraps. But we are doing an XD crossover, and I'm so excited. So what else is going on with you? Um, this holidays are over. What's new in the new year? It's the start of a new year. New year, new me. No, I'm still same old Kelly. Um, but I've just been... I that was a jingle or something. I know, right? <laughs> I've just been filming season four of Lab Rats. We're a little more than halfway done. So I'm like... It's going to be really bittersweet when it's over cuz I mean chances are this is the last season and everyone's like a family to me so I'm going to be upset. What are you taking from set. What? What are you going to take from set? On oh, my clothes. I have the cutest boots on the show and like every time I do wardrobe fittings I'm like I want to take those and we're all done. My boots um yeah my wardrobe. What am I going to take from set? The laughter and the love. Memories. Memories. That's what I'm going to take from Sam. <laughs> and also my shoes. <laughs> I mean, you got to have fashion. And I don't know. I kind of want to take like a piece of the set. Not like the set, but like maybe like a prop. Maybe I'll take my capsule with me. That would fit great. And, and put it, yeah, in my bedroom. Parents would be like, yeah. <laughs> my capsule. I'm going to take that with me. <laughs> as long as you have, they're going to make you sleep in it is what's going to happen. I know. I have to live up to my character. So. Anything you want to say to your fans? Um, hey, what's up? Um, I just want to say thank you for continuing to support me. And I have some new things that will be coming out soon that hopefully you guys like. A little transition from Lab Rats into some other roles that you may not have seen before. But I love you guys, and you're awesome, and you're awesome. You're awesome. The end. <laughs> album. I'm most excited, I guess, for the song called Everlasting Love. It's kind of like a throwback, um, early 2000s, Destiny's Child. Important person to dress for is yourself. Never think that, oh, because you know this is the newest trend, or because someone else said I look good in this, this is the way I should dress. 